Hi everyone, welcome back to our online volleyball lessons, what you can do at home. I hope you have enjoyed yesterday's class and that you are tuning in for today as well. Today, after moving around a little bit and getting ready to do sports, we are going to practice our digging skills. We are going to go through how a proper digging form looks like and I'm going to give you some exercises and for the end of the session, I'm going to give you your challenge. Make sure your parents messages or emails me with an evidence that you have done the challenge so you can get your attendance marked in. Now, if you're ready, make sure you have your greenhouse t-shirt on, your leggings, some proper sports shoes, get your water bottle ready and let's get started. Over to our lovely volunteers who will hold your warm up today. So, uh, firstly to warm up, we are going to have four exercises, high knees, heel flicks, lines and star jumps. And we are going to do these exercises twice. So make sure you do the first four exercises, take a little break and then do them again. And we are going to start in three, two, one, let's go. So just as yesterday, let's do some high knees remember to bring those knees up quite nice and high and try to do it as quick as you can so your heart rate raises a little bit so let's keep going your 30 seconds haven't passed but you don't have much left so keep going please nice and fast that's it push it push it until the last couple of seconds and switch so let's do some heel flicks again hands behind your hips and try to kick those hands with your heels nice and high you can do it as fast as you can please only have a few more seconds to go so keep it up a little bit more keep it up and lines nice and fast with the feet do it as quick as you can stop and turn around about two steps away from you and another one about four steps away as fast as you can and always come back to the base point and a little run and a long run well done so now that you have done your lines let's do some star jumps so make sure you do it as quick as you can big jump out hands up make sure you get your shoulders nice and warm your legs nice and warm and do not stop Make sure you don't slow down, go as fast as possible and you only have a few more seconds, two, one and nice work. Well done everybody, you finished your first part of your warm up. Now take a little break, you have a few more seconds. Uh, make sure your back is nice and straight and taking very, very deep breaths and you are going to do this all over again. So high knee, heel flicks, lines, star jumps. Let's go. So I really hope you have done everything again and let's move on to a very quick stretching now. And... Now that you have done your warming up exercises, we are going to do opposite leg, opposite arm kick up just like yesterday. So make sure it's the opposite leg and the opposite arm and kicking up a nice and high feeling that stretch on the back of your leg. And we're having a great demonstration of a lounge out and twisting left and right, once with the right foot, once with the left foot. Try to use all those muscles on your legs and on your core so you're not too wobbly and you go once with the left foot, once with the right foot. Do 12 of these with each leg. When you're done with your lunges, do some twist sit up so your elbow is going to touch the opposite knee. Try to make sure that your upper body turns around. Do 30 of these, so 15 each side. And you know, the jumping squats. So again, make sure that your knees don't go together. They go out nice and wide and you try to jump as high as you just can. 
So again, knees don't go in. Make sure that you keep them out. Try to make it as little wobbly as possible and keep a straight back. And now that you're done with your warm up, fetch your volleyball, your football, your toilet roll, whatever is around you and somewhat circular, get it ready. Let's start playing. So you have two ways of holding your hand, either way fist in fist, make sure you cuddle it around and elbows together, making a nice and wide platform or palm in palm, joining those thumbs again together and putting the elbows. Now with the rest of your body, you should be wider than your shoulders, straight elbow and moving the ball with the legs. Make sure your shoulders are nice and crunched up. Nice and wide legs, straight elbow, shoulder not moving and lifting the volleyballs with your legs, not swinging the arms. So we're going to be nice and bouncy in our feet and we're going to bounce the ball on our forearm with the right hand. Let's do 30 of these and then you can go ahead and switch over to your left arm. Again, don't swing your arms, don't move your shoulders. Move the volleyball with your bouncy legs. And once you've done 30 of these as well, you can switch over to bouncing the ball with both hands alternate. Now, as you can see, it's not very easy. So make sure that you're ready to move with the feet. Those knees are bent. Now let's kneel down, one knee on the ground and the other feet are on the ground. Make sure that your hip goes nice and low sitting down on your heel and you can start trying to dig the volleyball with the forearms. The ball is quite bouncy. Make sure that you are moving the volleyball with your hips. As you can see, my arms are barely moving. They're completely straight and I'm going up and down with my legs and my hips trying to move that volleyball. Leaning forward, crunching up the shoulders right next to your ears. Let's do a lot of these before you switch to the next one. Now you can stand up. As you can see, I'm moving my legs a lot. My hips are still back. My shoulders are still forward and crunched up. I'm barely moving these arms and really, really lifting that ball with the leg and making sure that the platform, my forearms that I'm hitting the volleyball with is quite firm. So that's why the ball bounces up because that platform is firm. I do not need to give too much energy to that ball with my hands. So nice and high moves, use the legs, tiptoes and bouncy feet. Do a lot of this as well. Now that you have done two gazillion digs, make sure that you turn around, throw your ball above your head, turn around and have a very little control dig to yourself. Now, if you're doing it in your room or if you're doing it in the living room, then just don't throw your ball as high. And now you really, really need to control the volleyball that it's very, very small touch. You're only moving your legs and just lifting that ball up with those legs and having your arm very, very firm. Now at this next exercise, you will need a helper who can be either way a parent or a sibling. They're going to smash your volleyball where you're going to turn around and you're going to have a very nice and smooth dig back at them. So make sure you turn, your feet should be very wide, your hips should look back, your chest should be low and you can lift your volleyball very, very smoothly just with the legs, not moving the arms. Just as I did, you can ask them to feed one ball slightly to your left, one ball slightly to your right, and you can bring that ball back to the center right back at your helper. And drum roll, your daily challenge is coming up. Make sure you let me know how many did you manage to do. Dig, right hand, left hand, volley. This is one. Dig, right, left, volley. You're on two. 
So try to make as many as you can in this order without losing your volleyball. If you are doing this in a balcony, just as I do, oh girls, please make sure you do not send your loaned volleyballs down from uh, the 10th floor of your building. So thank you very much. And as I told you ladies, my garden is getting together today. I put every plant in their forever home. Let me know and show my homework comments what you think and what have you been up to in this second day of the break. Bye now, see you tomorrow.